Welcome to this third video in the Pavement Arena series. Its title is Grappling, The Last Resort, and for a very good reason. The title could have remained benign and simply been called Grappling, but doing so would in no way convey the implications and finality of grappling when involved in a self-defense street situation. As with all the Pavement Arena videos, the concern is not with the niceties and intricacies of Eastern martial arts, but rather with the raw, core element of the numerous fighting systems which are practiced by hundreds of thousands of people in Britain. This program examines a last resort situation. As Jeff Thompson will constantly tell you, if a street fight comes to a grapple, then you are there for eternity. Grappling distance differs from any other in that, once sought or found, it can seldom, if ever, be exchanged for one more favorable. It is usually held until the culmination of the fight. When kicking and or punching, you can, if you need, move in and out of either range. But if, and you will, in nine out of ten street fights that go wrong, find yourself grappling. You no longer have the option to change distance as you are held there by the grip of your adversary. It is at this point that the unskilled grappler will freeze. He or she will lose whatever mental and certainly physical confidence they felt at a much more comfortable distance. Skilled martial artists with many years of successful punching and kicking become novices in a matter of a split second if caught by a skilled grappler. To be a successful survivor of conflicts in the pavement arena, you must be a skilled exponent at all distances and practice to accommodate all angles of attack. When you consider that 90% of all live combat situations end at grappling range, and yet less than 10% of combat exponents actually practice or are prepared for this, something is dangerously amiss. In many ways, the all-out grappling of judo or wrestling is as close to real combat as you can get, and its character-building qualities through the intensity of effort are second to none. Man grappled before he ever learned to clench a fist or use his legs and feet for anything more competitive than walking or running. Grappling is the most natural of the elements of play in which children indulge. Yet after many years of developing our punching and kicking skills, we often lose to our cost the natural ability we once possessed. A good grappler will defeat punches and kickers with consummate ease if they are not first to the gun. If your preemptive strikes fail, you must be prepared for that deadening experience of having to grapple and win. This video will show you how. Welcome to Grappling, the third in the Pavement Arena series of self-defense videos. As you know, the, the subtitle of this is Grappling The Last Resort. That's because we're now into a support system. There's no grappling by choice. If you're here, it's because you've made a mistake. As we keep emphasizing in the first two videos, the distance you're giving in the street is punching distance. That's the one that you must be preemptive at, and that's the one within the first second or split second of a conflict taking place that you have to finish the fight. However, life isn't perfect, and often you'll find yourself, if that doesn't work or if somebody preempts you, you're into grappling. Most conflicts, whether they're punching or kicking, that go on for any longer than a few seconds, more often will not, will become a grappling situation. And as Jess is going to explain to you in graphic detail, once you're grappling, you're grappling for eternity. There's no way you can change that distance. Yeah, it's the, it is the one unique range that you can't change. If you're in punching or kicking, you can move in and out of them distances at will. Once you're in grappling range, you're held there by the grip of your adversary. So if you want to change range, you can't. So once you're there, you're there for the rest of the fight. You're usually there till the end, unless you're very lucky. So working on the premise that you can't destroy what you can't create, we want to know, we want a good overview of grappling so that if we end up there, which we will if it goes any longer than a few seconds, we know what to do. 
So if we end up on the ground, then we're competent. Because if you don't, you've got big problems. And also, like Peter was saying, you never caught it. Because once you're down on the floor, you can only fight one person. His mates are kicking you in the face or his girlfriend's stabbing you. There's loads of problems once you hit the floor. But if you do hit the floor, you've got to make the best of it. So that's what we're going to be working on today.